Jesus, we are not the Bible said them so. In other words, we are, we are not dead because of His mercy. Not me, but because of His mercy. Jesus. 
struggle, when I was, amen, having difficulties in my life, I called upon. You see what happens, brothers and sisters, is when trials and tribulations come, when we get stressed out with things that are happening in our lives, the tendency is to back away. But Thank you. 
pursuer of God. Amen. But God's mercies were extended to him regardless of what he had been through or even in the place where he was not where he ought to be. The mercies of God endure. And God's mercy will find you right where you are. I don't care if you're in the depths of sin. God's mercy will find you right where you are. That's why I got to use the praise. That's why I got to glorify him. For he's a good God. Why was God merciful to David? It's because David sold mercy. This is for somebody today. Stop talking all that stuff. Stop trying to put folks down and trying to correct folks. Give them mercy. Extend to them mercy. And when you extend to them mercy, then God will extend to you mercy. How does they be merciful? Well, uh, remember there was a man by the name of King Saul. And King Saul, amen, uh, had determined to kill David, amen, because not only was it because he was the anointed of God, he had the anointing of God in his life, uh, but he also had the anointing of the people in his life. The, the people loved David. Uh, and, and so this got, amen, King Saul messed up because there were those who, who loved him. Love David. So he, re he reached out time and time again to kill him. Uh -huh. With a javelin, he met the Bible said that he threw a javelin at him a couple of times. And there were times in, in which he sent an army, great men, to come and to try to kill him. David could have said, Well, Lord, no. Uh, kill them off then. I'm your anointed now. Kill them off. That sounds like they need to go take care of everything, right? Just kill them off. But I, I see two caves. One cave I see a man, King Saul. And I see another uh, David in the cave of Adul, Adul. When Saul is in his cave, he does not know that David is packed up in the cave. He doesn't know that David is there and David could kill him because he doesn't have his soldiers around him. He is in a cave. Understand. That oftentimes when we're in caves, we're in caves by ourselves. We're in a place of solitude. We're in a place, amen, where, where we are by ourselves. And the enemy can come in and destroy us. But what does David do? David sees that this is King Saul. The man that had tried to kill him several times. Amen. I know some of us would have been saying, Lord, give me the strength. Yeah. Give, 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 give me the strength right now to slay him. But he doesn't do that. David shows him mercy. Even though he was rejected by God, David showed him mercy. I want you to understand today that those that are rejected, that you believe that are rejected by God, God looks at you and he still wants you to show mercy. So David, David sees that it's King Saul and Saul goes to sleep and David, David creeps up there to him and he just cuts off some of his garment. Amen. And then when uh, the king leaves his cave, the Bible said that David called out to him. He said, yeah, King, here I am. He said, but you know what? You see this cloth right here? 
this cloth could have been your head. Uh -huh. See this cloth right here? I could have taken your life. But I hear God telling me, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. So even though I wanted to, to show judgment, God says, don't touch my anointing. Don't do my prophets any harm. Listen, if you are anointed of God, it's imperative that you be the one that is showing mercy. Uh -huh. Helpful. Helpful. So what happens? When he's in his faith, he could have had death. But in his cave, God showed him mercy. Through David, he showed him mercy. Now, when David was in his cave, the cave of Adullam, Amen. The Bible said that he wasn't there by himself, but he was there with, with some folks that were discouraged, folks that were distressed, yeah. folks that were that were uh, in debt. Yeah. All these deeds were, <laughs> were, 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 were in uh, the cave with him. Uh, I don't know about you, but have you had those deeds in your cave too? Those that dis something that discourages you. Hallelujah, some of us that have been in debt, in the cave, discouraged, in the cave, distressed, in the cave, stressed out, in the cave. But it's in the cave that God told him, I want you to take all of these, these men that are discouraged, that are struggling, I want you to take them. I want you to lead them. I want you to lead them out of the deeds that they're in. I want you to lead them out of discouragement. I want you to lead them out of the stress. I want you to lead them out of debt. I want you to lead them out. Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. He's in the cave too. But in the cave, God says, I want you to lead others out. I was thinking the other day about when, when God brought me here and before God brought me here, I was had been going through uh, a divorce and uh, I was stressed out. I was in distress. <laughs> Amen. But interesting, Sister Mary, is this, that God had me running revivals and I said, God, this is, this is stupid. It makes no sense. I need reviving. But God said, do as I say do. And so when I reached Sacramento, I ran a revival there. Pastor has me run a revival there. Amen. When I was in San Francisco, run a revival there. When I was in Richmond, run a revival there. When I was in Eugene, Oregon, run a revival there. And I, I got to tell you, I was, I was dumbfounded. You know, I was done by what I said, this is God, and I spoke to him. This doesn't make any sense. I need reviving. I need you to do something in my life. And you're telling me to, 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 to reach out, amen, give out your word and encourage other folk when you yourself are discouraged. But I want you to understand that that's how God works. Somebody out. 
If you're discouraged today, I dare you to call somebody up and start encouraging them. Start telling them everything's going to be all right. Amen. I, I, I hear, amen, God speaking, amen, to, to you, Elder Michelle, that someone that may need to have encouragement, that someone that God wants you to speak to. Amen. What, when we do what he wants us to do, when we take care of his business, then he'll in turn take care of our business. When you do as God has told you to do, you'll do what no man can do. Give the Lord off and praise you, God. God is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. I'm going to give a praise, the same praise that I give when things are going good, when the sun is rising in my life. And everything is, is, is great. He used to give me the same praise from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. I'm going to give him the same praise. The same intensity of praise when, when joy, I have joy of people. It's the same intensity of praise I'm going to give them when it has, it has to be a sacrifice to you. Praise team saying we need sacrifices of praise to the house of the Lord. And we offer unto him that thanksgiving. We offer unto him that praise. And when we offer that up, God will step in. Why? Because the Bible said he inhabits our praise. He lives in our praise. Some of us need to simply open up our doors, the doors to our, our sanctuary, the doors to our house, and, and, and offer sacrifice of praise. And he will come in. And he will tabernacle with you. If you don't know the Lord in the party of your sins if you are watching us, amen. By way of social media. Whether you were seeing this live or you've seen this a couple of days later, or whatever it is, whatever it is that you're seeing this, whatever it is, right where you are, it is a it is an altar. Right on that altar, you can give your sacrifice. What are we sacrificing? God tells us that we ought to be living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. What God desires is to, to be Lord of your life, and He's not going to, to push Himself on you, but He simply He's asking for an invitation. He says, I'll knock, and if you open up to him, he'll come in with you, and he will have a relationship with you. It's as simple as saying, Lord, Jesus, come into my life. Father, I recognize that I have sinned in your sight. Father, I recognize that I've done things that, that are against your word and your will. But Father, I pray today that your son will come into my life and will be Lord over my life. Create with me, God, a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Cast out your spirit from me. God, give me a clean heart. I believe you pray that prayer that the Lord has saved you. Now that does not mean that we stop there, but it simply means that, that if the Lord were, were to call you home right now, before you had time to get to a church and, and, and learn more about Him, I hear that on the cross, keep on the cross. Say, when you give me to the kingdom, remember me. Thank you. Let's talk about the same time. And Jesus said, this day, thou shalt be with me in paradise. That was the day that that thing died. 
but he opened up his eyes in paradise. Give the Lord an offer of praise and glory. Is there someone in God's name that needs prayer of the Lord? Yes, come on. Yes, elders, I, I want you to come and I want you to encourage. Encourage. <laughs> Lord, you know what you need. The Lord knows what you need. Sister Peter, there's been a lot of things that have been going in your life. A number of things that we know about and things we don't know about. But God is here today to destroy every yoke of sin. God is here today to bring deliverance in your life. So we ask you, Lord, to bring courage in her life. Make her my father. She did one of those profile in courage. Grant unto her your anointing. Grant unto her your deliverance. Sin, Lord Jesus, your power that destroys yokes. In the name of Jesus, we cast this care upon you tonight, today, knowing that you care for her. Now, strengthen, Lord Jesus, in every area of weakness. Strengthen in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. 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 Something about the name of Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. It is the sweetest name.
38 years. I didn't say 38 months, I didn't say 38 days. Hallelujah. 38 years. Thank God for them. All the 26 Delta Michelle stars will be back in the day. On the 27th is my birthday. And on the 30th, we have another anniversary minister, Marlo Alexis, and he was getting to the Alexis. And on the 27th, we have another anniversary as well. If we missed your best day, please charge this oversight to our head and our heart. Amen. We appreciate God. We appreciate the things that you continue to do. Amen. And so at this time, we're going to stand and be dismissed. Thank you. 